Hey guys, Meghan, Mr. Mark Markle and Prince Harry are in Jamaica. They attended the premiere of Bob Marley One Love movie and I'm not happy about it. So I'm just trying to hold it together. But if I happen to go ballistic in this video, I apologize in advance. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Leilani of Barbados. I think you're gonna have to hold my hand throughout this whole video. Okay, I need the strength. Meghan and Harry flew their way down to Kingston, Jamaica on a private jet. I had a subscriber, friend of mine, message me on Instagram. You know you can message me on Instagram, direct message me. And she told me that there's a private jet at the airport. She was at the airport in Kingston and they did in fact come on private jet. So that's one thing, okay? So everyone is speculating as to why they showed up there. They have nothing to do with Jamaica. They have nothing to do with Bob Marley, I guess, apart from Harry and his Bob Marley, you know. Thing that he does therapy i think is what he calls those things apart from that they have nothing to do with it and why are they there one school of thought is that megan and harry are trying to sidle up to brian robbins who is the paramount president he also owns nickelodeon and this would be a good opportunity for them to rub shoulders with him or for megan to rub shoulders with him because you know no one's taking meetings with her in hollywood being that this is a smaller crowd that she would come all the way to kingston to try to get close to him in these pictures i just wanted to note that he's here with his wife tracy james and he's holding on to her her and they're trying to get away from Megan and it looks like Megan and Harry are kind of photobombing them. That's one aspect of it. My opinion is, unpopular opinion as it might be, that they are trying to meet with this gentleman instead. This is Andrew Holness, he's a Prime Minister of Jamaica. And I think that Megan wanted to meet with Andrew Holness in order to one up Catherine and I'm going to get into all of that. Well let's just get into it now. Okay basically Prime Minister Andrew Holness is a petty bitch. Let's get it. Petty bitch ooh, petty bitch a. This is a song for the petty bitches yay. Talk and he decided to do something very called for when the Wales has visited Jamaica on their tour in 2022, March 2022. And I did a video on that. Basically, Catherine and William had an amazing time in Jamaica. They pulled out all the Royal Defence Force for them. They had all the pomp and circumstances, but also, I found that Catherine really enjoyed Jamaica. She was very much the people's princess. People were clamoring for her. She was embracing them. She was laughing with them. She was dancing with them. I mean, Jamaica is a very, I think it's one of the most entertaining countries on this earth. So I could see how she really enjoyed herself and I loved to watch that as it happened. The Jamaican people really love the queen. We want to save from the Carnation Market family, everybody that works in the Carnation Market, we want to say a happy, beautiful, birthday to Queen Elizabeth. She visited our island six times and uh, I'm sure she loved the people of Jamaica or else she wouldn't be coming here. Because of that, I love her. Queen came to visit um, my project. Nice, but everything you see, the box, the drum, the monitors, the equipment, the mixer board, everything was given by the Queen. It's, it's, it's on this, I can't even describe it. it um, it's like a dream come true. How old is the Queen? Am I as old as the Queen? No. The Queen is older than me? All right. And when they see William coming to Jamaica as the heir to the throne, not the spare, but the heir and the grandson of the queen, the people sort of see him as their grandson. You know, they've grown up watching him and watch him grow up. And then after all that time of having a wonderful time in Jamaica, having all the ministers part the crowd for them, everybody was on board, Andrew Holness decides to do this. And uh, we are moving on. And we intend to attain in short order our development goals uh, and fulfill our true ambitions and destiny as an independent, uh, developed, prosperous country. It's petty, it's messy, but I think Prime Minister Holness is playing the gotcha guy. Gotcha! And that is just to me beyond any pettiness, it's Weasley. He wants to leave the Commonwealth, right? He said he's leaving the Commonwealth, but it's two years later and the man has not figured out how to leave the Commonwealth. Why haven't you figured that out? Might have something to do with money. Um, and I don't want to get too much into politics because the Jamaican politics is a whole different ball game. And that's another reason why this movie, the Bob Marley movie was so important, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Wholeness wants reparations for Jamaica. And I think that leaving the Commonwealth, but at the same time asking for reparations might be more tricky than just staying in the Commonwealth and asking for reparations. That's my opinion. Anyway, I don't want to get too far into that. Except to reiterate that the Prime Minister of Jamaica was catapulted into these reparations demands by none other than Meghan 
Markle and her interview with Oprah, where she race baited the royal family. What I was saying about the Bob Marley movie is that it is such a groundbreaking time in Bob Marley's life. It, it is talking about two years of Bob Marley's life where it was a very eventful two years for Bob Marley. He got shot and survived it. He had a relationship with Miss World while she was still reigning, had a child with her. I mean, it was a lot. And then also he brought together the two warring political parties in Jamaica and made them shake hands on stage at his concert, which changed the entire political feeling of the country, where there was a lot of bloodshed over these warring political parties. This is a very grounded movie. Bob Marley did not care about money. Are you a rich man? When you mean rich, what do you mean? You have a lot of possessions, a lot of oh, money in the bank. Possession make you rich? I know I don't have that type of richness. My richness is life forever. His family is there, his sons and his relatives are all there. They are also people who are very wealthy, of course, but they do not show their wealth. They do not believe in that. They believe in unity and love. And it's all about the grassroots level of poor people. And Jamaica has poor people. Jamaica has a lot of poor people. So that goes on to my next topic. What was Megan wearing? Well, Megan decided to go into Kingston and, and by the way, I'm very familiar with Kingston. I actually worked there for a while and I have family there. She is in Kingston, Jamaica. She's not at a resort. Remember, Megan has never been to the capital Kingston. She's only been to the resort and gone to wedding and had a wedding, I think, herself in Jamaica, all on the enclave of the resort. But this time she's in the city. So she decides to wear in front of the poor people of the city of Kingston, Jamaica, millions of dollars worth of whatever. Okay, you know, as usual, Carolina Herrera skirt, these earrings. And I really wanted to look at these earrings with you because I can't believe, oh Lord, $3,250 earrings. Girl, bye. <laughs> Not a diamond in sight though. Okay, this looks like something we call steel pan, which is an instrument. Does this not look like a miniature steel pan to you? Duchess held on to her classic jukebox clutch from Jimmy Choo worth 750 pounds. One of her staple items, which she has worn multiple times over the years. Okay, but she didn't have to bring it to Kingston, girl. So this is what in the Caribbean we would call a butu. A butu or a butucrat. According to Jamaican Patois, a butu is a person who has little or no social graces or manners. Being a butu is completely independent of your social class. Professor Rex Nettleford once said correctly, a butu in a Benz is still a butu. <laughs> Meghan Markle is a butu in Carolina Herrera. She's completely overdressed. She's wearing a gown, a black tie gown, something like what you'd wear to an awards show and then all this jewelry and stuff. This is a country that struggles with poverty and people don't have jobs and people can't make money. For you to be so self unaware, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go, for, I'm done. You have to realize immediately as you're there that these these are people who are not in the position that you're in. And maybe you should just dial it back a bit, dress down a bit. Do you know what I mean? Why throw it in their faces? Even wealthy Jamaicans who are probably wealthier than Megan, to be honest with you, do not do this in Jamaica. It's a very deep divide between rich and poor in Jamaica. Also, you're going to a Bob Marley movie premiere, the most down to earth grassroots family in the world. And they're really like that in person. I would even say that if Michelle Duvalier, which is the princess of Haiti, okay, she was married to Baby Doc, a dictator in Haiti, and she was proud of the fact that she was flaunting her wealth in front of the poor people of Haiti. Haiti had never seen anything like it. Ministers' wives dressed in Parisian gowns, a jeweler flown in from Paris to present a $30,000 necklace as a door prize. If there was a movie on her, and Meghan came in this fancy dress, as far as I'm concerned, of a rich person, then it would be appropriate. If you'd like me to go on a deep dive of the fabulous Michelle Duvalier, let me know down in the comments if you want to know more about her. But we're talking about Bob Marley and it's not appropriate for a man who famously wore denim on denim all the time. And here comes the piece de resistance. When she finally meets Andrew Holness, who is her mark, that's who she really came there to meet because she was so excited at how he embarrassed William and Catherine. And uh, we are moving on that she had to go down there and make sure that she was friends with him. I still get surprised when I see Megan do this flirtatious eye movements and so on because I usually am looking at the other people around her and then when I zone in on her, I'm just like, really? 
I don't know if this is her way of flirting, if this is her way of like casting some kind of spell on people, girl. But I will say, I'm sure you've probably noticed that a certain show, Suits, has become a- By the way, that eyelash glue go crazy. Why are her eyes like hard to open like that? Like, I would love to know what it is that she thinks she looks like when she's doing this because she looks like a psychotic sociopath person to me. Here's some advice to you, Megan. Andrew Holness would not sleep with you unless you had a million bucks cash between your chicken legs. He knows that you wouldn't even write him a check that he could cash. He knows you're cheap. The people of Jamaica are very upset, annoyed. I'm hearing annoyed. I'm hearing upset. I'm hearing angry. Because Megan is a black heritage denier, Jamaican people are not on board with her denying her black heritage. In the mockumentary, the way she spoke about being seen as a black woman and with that venom in her voice, needless to say, did not sit well with a country which has this ethnic composition. She was very uncomfortable around black people. We saw that in Africa. Meghan Markle is uncomfortable around black people. She's uncomfortable with herself is a problem and identifying as a black woman. I know that she did the 43% Nigerian thing at the last minute, but it was sort of too little too late. Everyone already knew what her resume is look like and her school applications look like. Yeah, people in Jamaica don't take kindly to that at all. They are such proud people Jamaicans are in everything they do and it's a beautiful country full of extremely talented people which is why we have one love in this movie and that is something again that Bob Marley professed and I don't think that Meghan Markle should be a promoter of one love when she doesn't even love her damn self. I'm hearing reports also back from Jamaica that the Marley family has no interest in being around her. Yeah. So anyway, thank you so much for watching me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. I know it was a bit raw and a bit serious, but I hope I held myself together enough. And as for Catherine, who is, I think, on day six post-op, don't worry about this. We got you, girl. We wish you the best. And we know you're having a speedy recovery because you're a healthy, strong woman. Jamaica does miss you. They wish you were there for the premiere instead of you-know-who. <laughs> okay. Love you so much. Bye. <laughs>